An agreement has been reached between Iran and six world powers to curb Tehran's nuclear program in exchange for limited sanctions relief. But the deal has sparked fears in Israel, with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu criticising the agreement as an historic mistake and reserving his country's right to defend itself. Sky's Middle East correspondent Sam Carley has more. Storming into a weekly session of his cabinet, the Israeli Prime Minister delivered his verdict on the diplomatic breakthrough, first in Hebrew, and to avoid any misinterpretation, Benjamin Netanyahu then followed up in English. What was concluded in uh, Geneva last night is not a historic agreement. It's a historic mistake. It's not made the world a safer place. Like the agreement with North Korea in 2005, this agreement has made the world a much more dangerous place. His ministers soon joined the chorus, driving home Israel's anger that's fueled by an existential fear that the world's powers have been suckered by Iran. The US Secretary of State sought to reassure Israel that the world had not been tricked. I think everybody has a right to be skeptical because there are indications that there are people in Iran who have wanted to pursue a weapons program, that there have been secret facilities building some of those efforts towards that program. And so there's lots of a reason. That's why we don't take anything at face value. Israel's fears are not unreasonable. They're driven by this man's pledge to wipe the Jewish state off the map. By these long-range missiles that are capable of hitting Tel Aviv. And by a nuclear weapons program that Iran has never admitted it was running. Israel and Iran have been accused of prosecuting a covert war against one another over the nuclear issue. Five Iranians associated with the nuclear program have been killed by assassins in the last three years. Cyber war broke out when the Stuxnet virus attacked Iran's centrifuges three years ago. And the head of Iran's cyber warfare unit was recently found shot in the head. Iranian terrorists have been blamed for attacks on Israelis in India, Indonesia and several attempts elsewhere. An escalation of this secret conflict could destroy diplomatic advances. Global powers will now look to both sides to stop a shadow war that neither side admits waging.